In theaters of war all over the world, countless machines are kept ever at the ready. Stocked with supplies, ammunition, and fuel, they stay poised for deployment into battle at a moment's notice. But there is one type of machine that is more vital and more vulnerable than any other machine in the battlefield. The Warfighter. The Combat Feeding Directorate of the Natick Soldier Research, Development and Engineering Center is tasked as the executive agent for the DOD to develop new and better fuel for the warfighter, fuel that is critical to improving their performance on the battlefield. Our mission here at Combat Feeding is to provide a robust research and development technology base for combat rations, field feeding equipment, and field feeding systems for the Army, Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps. Nutrition has always been important to a soldier's performance. Ever since the time that it was said that a soldier marches on his stomach, it's been realized that food plays a big role in how far and how fast a soldier can go. That hasn't been lost on us here. And even today, we're looking at how we can use food to improve the performance of soldiers on the battlefield. We want them to have that edge. Looking forward, we look to the Army's strategic vision and how that uh, we're trying to get a more expeditionary force that fights off the ramp. What we're going to do is to provide nutrition to that warfighter on the battlefield that will allow them to fight and win a war regardless of the number of their enemy on the battlefield. When you have to survive for two weeks at a time jumping out of a helicopter and running up and down mountains, we had to carry all of our own water, all of our own food, our ammunition. Our rucksacks would weigh average of 120 pounds and that was just for a sniper team. That wasn't counting what the 240 gunners were carrying, the saw gunners, or God forbid the mortar man. Those guys definitely champions in it. The meal ready to eat, our mainstay ration, the MRE has been around for many years and it's a great ration and it's being improved all the time, but it's still quite bulky when you have to carry two or three days worth with you. And so we developed the first strike ration, a ration that's half the weight and cube of the MRE. One first strike ration contains all the food that a soldier or Marine needs to carry them through one day. What's really exciting in this area is we're able to take science, proven validated compounds, incorporate them into a product, and provide them to a warfighter in an acceptable manner, of which they're consuming it, they want more, and it's providing them with that optimized performance that they need. Actually, my RTO that's attached to me had this horrible habit of going black on water on the first day. He'd go black on water, he'd eat all of his MREs, I'd have to pack extra for the other members of my team. And then I would have to ration out, hey, here's your MRE, I can only carry so much to support me and him. I'd have to carry an extra case of water and ration that out. Our warfighters have to fight off the ramp. This means that we have to be prepared to support them in any environment, any type of operation. We know that there are naturally occurring substances out there that have the ability to increase and improve soldier performance things that help to extend time to muscle failure, things that help recover muscles after certain periods of stress and high intensity conflict. We want to get those things into a food product and deliver them to the warfighter in the most effective means necessary, and we're working to do that. We know that the battlefield of today and the battlefield of tomorrow is not going to be a one-size-fits-all approach. That same mentality carries over to operational rations. We're doing a lot of research into performance nutrition and how to deliver those products to soldiers in a ration that is shelf stable, air droppable, able to withstand extreme environments, and is as effective on day 1000 as it is on day one. We're looking to a time in the future when maybe every soldier and Marine that's dismounted on the battlefield will have perhaps a biometric monitor that will tell us exactly what their nutritional needs are. It could talk to a 3D printer, which would in turn print a, a bar or a paste specifically designed for that soldier to return them to nutritional status. Yes, that seems futuristic and it seems hard to imagine, but that's where we're headed. We're laying the groundwork now through research and development to get us to that point. We don't know where or when those future battles are going to be fought, but we know that those warfighters on the battlefield are going to have to be fed. We want to make sure that they're fed in a way that will give them the edge on the battlefield. And through our robust research and development program here at Combat Feeding, we're doing that right now for the future battlefield and the future warfighter.